just, um, you know, obviously heading into our last regular conference series. So excited about that. Excited about, um, you know, going to the great state of uh, Tallahassee or no, not Tallahassee um, to Gainesville. That was a joke. Um, uh, and, and, you know, obviously we're going to play a, a really tough Florida team that's playing well right now. So, um, you know, go out there and play Aggie softball. Um, excited about um, kind of our level of practice this week. Um, and, you know, I, I think it'll, it'll be a good series. It'll be a fun series to watch. Chris, so you guys like to create a lot of havoc on the base paths. You practice against that. Obviously, when you look at the numbers with Wallace in Florida, is that going to make it easier for you guys or do they do a different type of havoc? Um, I just want to make sure, Cease, I heard you, like, does Florida do a different type of havoc or are we yeah, trying yeah. to? Do... Right. Yeah. Do they do a different type when you go ahead and try to defend it and how, how you try to combat that? Yeah, I, I think I, I think we're built very similarly, to be honest with you. We have some speed um, at the top of our lineup, just like they do with um, Falby and then Wallace. Um, Corby actually um, runs pretty well, too, uh, as well. Um, kind of like, you know, we have very similar. So there's some athleticism. So I think they're going to um, – we're going to have to play clean defense. I think the team that plays clean defense, and then for us, it's going to be limiting their free bases – if you look at Florida, there is a um, a lot of walks and hit by pitch, and they tend to score those runners, those free runners, at a very high rate. Um, so I think that's going to be really where our focus is. Um, that's what we've been talking to the pitchers for the last couple of days, um, is just being able to throw the ball over the white and being comfortable with it, and these are the reasons why. Um, and so uh, – I think, you know, we're going to have to play clean defense, though, because I do believe that they're going to try to cause havoc with some short game, putting runners in, runners in motion, maybe some fake bunt steals, delayed steals. Um, we've talked to the team kind of about all of that. Thanks. Coach, how do you think the team has been able to use the last few days, the last week or so, without having to play a conference series last weekend to really rest up and get ready for – what is now a true stretch run with the final regular season and then the SEC tournament leading into the NCAAs? Where do you think you're at health-wise and rest-wise? Well, I can tell you one person in particular, actually two that has helped, has been Coco and Lefty. Um, obviously, Coco has um, dealt with a little bit of a leg issue, and I was being very cautious with her because I wanted to make sure that we had her uh, down the stretch. Um, Lefty has, you know, obviously um, – just sucked up a lot of innings, right? She's thrown a lot. Uh, I was really excited leaving bullpen today, uh, hers and Shaley's um, in particular. I just think the rest um, kind of rejuvenated them. So they didn't get a whole lot of time off, to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of one that likes routine. Um, and, and it wasn't necessarily from a pitching standpoint, high intense, but it was, you know, kind of getting back to some of the basics that, I think help us. Um, and so for us, um, I think it's been huge. I think, you know, always, especially this time of year, because they're dealing with some finals as well. Um, if we can get them some rest or even some days where softball is just not as demanding and they can get, you know, some of that homework and um, studying and reorganizing their schedules a little bit, um, making sure they're getting into some treatment, just some of those uh, uh, um, auxiliary things. I think has really helped us. So today we had a really good day of practice. Um, so I, I'm leaving um, tomorrow feeling good. What about Rothrock and Brown? They have good one loss record, Tricia, but not really eye popping stats. How have they been successful? Well, I think, um, you know, for true freshmen, good Lord, I think they've done a tremendous job. I think, you know, as you get going in this conference, it's relentless. And so I feel like in preseason, they did a really good job. But with conference, there's just so much video, right? There's so much, um, you just have so much ability, uh, so much of the ability to prep for them. Um, and so I think, you know, and the hitters are really good in the SEC. So I think, um, you know, it's going to be key for us to kind of wear them out. So even if, you know, the first couple of innings, things aren't going our way. Um, very similar to what we did at Vodder, right, is make them throw five, six, seven pitches per batter because I think that's going to help down the down the road um, in the game and even in the series. 
Um, but I think they're pretty dynamic. I mean, obviously, Ava, we're really familiar with. with. She's a Texas kid. Um, I think half of our team has played with her or against her. Um, so there's been a, a lot of familiarity with her. Um, and Rothrock um, obviously was high in the um, in our trap, what we call the travel ball scene. And so I think both of them, though, um, what we've been talking about are freshmen. And so they make freshman mistakes. And so it's going to be up to us to be able to capitalize on those pitches. Thanks. Coach, with the SEC tournament beginning Tuesday, uh, what what are the plans as far as travel? Obviously, you said leaving tomorrow for Gainesville. How much uh, will you stay out or will you return to College Station before uh, Auburn? Yeah, I, I elected for us to come back um, just because if they can have 24 to 48 hours in their own bed and kind of reset again, because we're in the middle of finals. Um, and so I, I thought for me, it, it made a little bit more sense, um, especially since we felt pretty comfortable when we had to make that decision that we might be able to get that first buy, right? And now we're looking at probably, I, I think at this point in time, I think we, we're probably going to have the double buy. Um, but Regardless, I wanted them to get home, kind of keeping our routine of like coming home, you know, getting their stuff ready. We're going to be able to practice on our field on Monday. Um, a lot of them have finals on Monday. And so then we're going to be able to kind of keep a little bit of I'm a big routine person. So keep a little bit to our routine. But also, I think it's going to help them um, kind of take care of some business. And then when we hit the road again, then it can be all softball. So we're, I'm sorry, I didn't answer your question. We're going to leave Tuesday morning. Sorry. We won't find out what time exactly um, because we have our admin meeting on Monday morning. And at that point in time, we'll be able to pick um, kind of depending on where we are, um, where we fall, um, what practice time we want. But right now it's looking like um, pretty early Tuesday morning because we have to fly in an hour away from the university. You mentioned having to manage the team and the, the girls in their finals a, a couple of times. I'm, I'm just curious, how how much of a challenge is it to, as a coaching staff, be mindful of that, manage all of that, while also understanding that you still have regular season goals to accomplish with what is uh, waiting just around the corner in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, I think over-communication, to be honest with you. You can really, if you have a good pulse on your players, you can you know when they're stressed out. Um, and so I think for us, just because we've been in the business for so long is understanding how to balance that. Um, and then we just over communicate with them. Uh, it's a very simple. I feel like that's just human nature. Everybody does better when they kind of understand what the structure and what that's going to look like. Um, and so, um, we, we, you know, the players will come up to us, you know, in our offices or out on the field and just like, hey, you know, we had a couple of players that were having trouble with rescheduling their um, academic um, you know, their finals. And so it's like, okay, well, let me know. And then we got kind of, you know, them wired up so we can figure out how to support them. Um, and so I think for us, it's just really understanding, hey, let's make sure we get all of our academics done by, let's say it's even four o'clock, you know, let's reschedule, get them done. And then from five o'clock on, it's softball, softball, softball. So I think if you can kind of segment the day for them a little bit, so they have this part of the day, you know, because they're not in classes right now. It's really just finals. Um, and and those those aren't during normal uh, academic class time. And so it's if you can really kind of get that where like, okay, everybody's going to be done with finals at four o'clock. Okay, now we're going to go to softball world. And so that has really helped um, instead of trying to like piecemeal practices. Okay, infielders are going to come at this time. I think I really like to keep to our routine of having the whole team there. And so then you just have to kind of manage a little bit of what that timing looks like. Patricia, this is another venue that a and had trouble at in the past. And I know uh, that you didn't play them last year. I didn't know if you've ever been to Gainesville along your time or if you feel that the trips to Alabama and LSU have prepared you for this with this team. Yeah, I, I would say yes to everything. So I haven't been to Gainesville um, to play. I've, I've recruited there. There is a tournament out there. And so they had a championship game of the tournament played out there. So, um, but I'm not familiar with it at all, um, kind of how it plays or any of those things. Um, I like to live in the world of naive. Um, and what I mean by that is I don't really care what has happened in the previous um regime of how we played because it's about today's Aggie song. and I don't mean any disrespect at all with that but just like I like to live in the like where we're at today um 
but cease to go back to like, I absolutely think that LSU and Tuscaloosa um, has prepared us. Cause I mean, to be honest with you, when we played at LSU, I think, you know, there was a lot of things that we didn't handle very well. Um, and, and one of that was kind of being in that environment. Right. And then Tuscaloosa game one, same thing. And I'm like, okay, you guys, like, let's figure this out. And I was really impressed of like how our team responded, especially our seniors, you know, Trinity Cannon was huge that series. Um, Julia Cottrell hit behind runners, like just, you know, Allie Enright, like all of those pieces kind of coming together. And I think they have the understanding and the confidence now after going through those two series of how to win a big series, quote unquote, big series on the road, um, in a hostile environment. So I fully expect that, um, Gainesville is going to be filled. I think it's senior weekend as well. So, um, and we're both vying for that, you know, top spot. And so I think it's going to be a fun environment. And I think, you know, to me, I take pride in, and I, I, I talked to you guys about this earlier, like when that whole crowd is silent, like that's, that's a great feeling when you're on the, on the road. So um, you just have to figure out ways to kind of motivate and um, kind of get things going on your side. How do you, you know, get momentum on your side and learn how to do that on the road. Uh, Coach, I know you're, I know you're very mindful of uh, the NCAA tournament pictures that starts to come more into focus and certainly goals are there for the taking. What, how do you feel confidence wise about more games being played at Davis diamond this year? And what do you feel your team needs to do to truly ensure that becomes a reality over the next 11 days before the field's announced? Yeah. We, you know, I, I think we're in a good spot, to be honest with you. I think our resume um, kind of speaks for itself. Our, you know, we're, who we've played, how we've done in conference, whether or not Florida goes our way or not, I truly believe, um, you know, a lot of our conference games were one run deficits, right? That we lost, like they were really close. Um, a couple of them I wish we had back, to be honest with you, but you live and learn, right? So we're going to probably end up in conference we're going to play a much tougher team our first game. And so I think that's going to be important, um, you know, moving forward is at least getting one game in that conference tournament, just because we have, um, you know, two buys. But we better be, we better be having some more games in at Davis or I'm going to, I'm going to have a hard time holding my mouth shut. So, yeah, <laughs> they've worked too hard and done so many great things this year for them to be, you know, not given that opportunity.